Hello everyone, welcome back to Sketch by Sketch, and today I'm going to be doing a review on these Ohuhu markers. I've had these for a while now, and I'm going to compare them to Copics. Alright, so let's get started. I have a little chart of some tests, but um, I want to show you the markers first. They come in a lot of colors. I think they come in a 40, 60, and 80 pack, and I got the 80. These are really nice looking markers. Um, it has a fine tip. You can see there. And it also has a um, chisel tip or a broad tip. And um, it has a little marker to show you where the fine tip is. Okay, so the first test I have is the bleed test to see how much it actually bleeds through the paper. And I'm just going to choose a dark marker. I think I'm just going to maybe go with a black. And I'm going to use the chisel tip and just go back and forth and put a lot of ink on the page and see if it bleeds through. And I'm also going to add just some purple over top of that because you would most likely be layering your colors. Alright. So... These markers do bleed quite a bit. They do bleed a lot, so you definitely want to put something behind there and don't use these in sketchbooks if you don't want them to bleed through. So that test was a fail. Next we have the blend test. So I'm going to go through and pick some markers and I'm going to swatch them and see which ones I think might blend together well and then test it out. I selected a color family of blues and I'm just going to check all those markers out and see how they work. And I did my swatches on the bottom of the page. And I'm sorry if you can't really see this, I forgot to move my um, camera up or the page up and I did not get to record most of this. And one thing you're going to need to do with these markers is make a color chart because they aren't very true to the caps. So that's why I took quite a while swatching these because I didn't know what they looked like. Okay, so I found some markers to use for this test, and I'm starting out with this lighter blue color, and I just used my broad tip for this blending, and then I took my medium tone, and I put it in there. It was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, and sorry, I did have to cut to the next clip, but, um the blend did work. Now we are using this tip, the fine tip, and I really wish it was a brush tip, but it's not, so you just kind of have to make do with it. And then my broad tip. It's pretty nice. Um, it's just a broad tip. I don't use it that much, but I mean, some people do like to have that. The next test is the feathering test to see if all the colors feather. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to draw a little box and color inside of the line and see if it um, runs outside of the box. And I was being very careful to color right to the edge like I would if I was coloring anything. And it did bleed just a little bit like feather. But my overall is four stars. I think they're really nice markers. 
so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in another art video please like and subscribe bye